This audio series is the property of the radio advertising people. Use of this audio is restricted and permission must be sought before use. This audio series is rated 80. Contains strong language. Parental guidance is advised. Episode 12. It was not long after Rodney introducing Joey to Sarah that Rodney received a shocking call from someone he least expected. The deal he offered Rodney was one that was going to be difficult to turn down. But the question is, did Rodney accept the deal or not? Hi, Rodney. Ah, Mr. Derek, you're calling me. <laughs> yes, I'm calling you. I've got a job for you. Hey, you've got a job for me. Just like Casey and Mike, every man has a price tag. Rodney wasn't exempted. Yeah, I have a job for you. And I'll pay you very well for it. Ah, Mr. Derek, you're, you're calling me? Why are you calling me, boss? I, I didn't do it all. I didn't take any money from you all. Boss, I, I didn't beg you. <laughs> calm down. Calm down. Okay, just calm down. Hear me out. I hear you have an artist that you're managing, right? Hey, boss. Ba- 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 how, how did you know? Don't worry. Listen, I've got my ways. So, how about I shoot three music videos for him at, say, maybe 20K per video. Hey, boss. And I give you an extra 10K to promote it. Ba- ba- what do I have to do? I know you know Sewa, my miss former roommate. And you are very close friends. Yes, yes, I know Sewa. Hey, but Derek, what do you want me to do? Okay, listen very carefully. I need you to steal her phone for me. What? Steal her phone? Yes, she's got a naked photo of me on that phone and I need her phone stolen and brought to me. Can you do that? In exchange for the cash and the music videos, of course. Hey, boss. She, you are wicked old. What, what, what kind of offer is this? One that you mustn't refuse. Look, Rodney, I need that done before the end of the week. My boss, how am I going to do that? Still have phone. That is your problem, Rodney. That is your problem. But no one, absolutely no one must know about this. Can I trust you on that? Yes, boss. You, you, you can trust me. Get me the phone and I'll pump some cash into your artist. It's as simple as that. Imagine a big record label for yourself. Rodney Records. Think about it. I'll be waiting. Unbelievable. Karma. They say what goes around truly comes around. This is an offer Rodney couldn't resist. Rodney's plan was simple. He wanted Joey to invite Sarah to the studio for a recording session and then get the boys to steal her phone. That's how he intended to use Joey. But before that, just as I said, Max wasn't going to have it easy as SRC president. Hi, Max. Hi, Miss Casey. Good day, madam. Nothing good about today, Max. I must say, I'm highly disappointed in you. I have Mike on the line. Hi, Mike. Hello, Casey. Mike? Bah. But what is going on here? Max, your actions in the past few weeks have clearly exposed a very weak part in your leadership. Hence why we have decided to bring in Mike as your special advisor. What? But, but Miss Casey, you can't do that. Excuse me, mister. This should be the last time you ever question my decisions. Have you heard me? But, but... Do I make myself clear, Max? But Miss Casey... Does she need to say it again, Max? Mike, will you shut up? Who is talking to you? Max, I don't think you properly understand your role. You'll be working with Mike. He will be your special advisor and also report directly to me. What? Mike, you're a backstabber. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm an outstanding young businessman. Point of correction. Max, I asked Derek to inform you about the team you were going to be working with. Didn't he? Yeah, he did. But not with Mike on the team. You want to be SRC president? Well, here you are. I told you we had unfinished business, didn't I? You will be going into a meeting with the vice chancellor this week, okay? You will go with Mike. Now listen carefully. There is going to be an increment of school fees. We have intel that the opposition party will be inciting students to go on a riot. Your task is very simple. You have to make sure that the persons behind this are properly managed. You will introduce me to the VC and I will take it from there. What? But Miss Casey, but, but 
What? What? Why must Mike take over? Because you're clearly incompetent. Shut up, Mike. Who was talking to you? Max, you clearly have temper issues and I cannot trust you on this task. If the kitchen is too hot for you, then you must get ready to resign. You shall follow my instructions and do as I ask. Perfect. This will be all for today, gentlemen. Have a wonderful day. What? Joey wasn't ready to give up. He kept on pushing. But the more he did, the more he got on my nerves. Falling in love was the last thing I had on my mind. I didn't have a heart. I have an icebox where my heart used to be. Hi, mommy. What's up? Joey, what do you want? Do you want to have sex with me? Because you've seen ass and breast. Huh? Oh no, is that, is that what you think? Why else are you calling me? You don't love me or do you want to marry me? My man, why are you so angry and defensive? You didn't even wait to hear the reason why I called. Uh, boys. Hmm. Oh, I see. I think I know what's happening here. Let me ask. Did you recently break up with someone or something like that? Don't assume you know me, Joey. See, you seem to be a fresh guy and all, but really, tell me why. Why are you here? I just I just called to check up on you, nothing personal. So, you just called me. <laughs> That's all. Just called. Okay, I'm fine. Anything else? Oh, mommy, for real? Are you going to be that cold? Ah, cold like how? You asked me how I was doing and I said I'm fine. Anything else? <laughs> now, I'm cold. You know you don't have to be so hard on yourself. Hard on myself. <laughs> and what do you know about being hard on yourself? Well, for a fact, I know you don't have to take your anger out on your friends. And who said I'm your friend? I'm not. Let me ask you, Joey. What do you understand by a friend? Maybe one who sees beyond the pain another person is going through and still decides to be here. And you think I'm going through pain? Clearly written all over your face, mommy. Like I said, what do you really want? Pussy? Do you want to fuck me? Be honest with me. <laughs> really? Is that what every guy that comes around wants? Look, Joey, don't try to avoid the question. What do you want from me? I just want to be your friend. I'm currently not accepting friends, Joey. So what are you trying to say? I shouldn't call you again? Maybe, because I can't offer you love, sex, money, time, or my friendship. I'm not ready for any now. You're really broken, mommy. Wow, this is deeper than I thought. Before I go, do you mind me asking you what happened? Joey, I wish I had time to talk, but to be honest, I don't want to continue this conversation. All right, mommy. Today was another bad day. Yeah, just another bad day. I channel my inspiration into music, so maybe I'll write you a song. Yeah. Joey, I really don't want anything from you. Whatever it is you want from me, I'm sorry. I can't give you. Just cool, don't panic, darling. I've been trying to get to you, but girl, you keep ignoring me. You can't keep doing this to yourself, you know. You have no idea what I've been through, so don't think I'm being mean. Mommy, I'm not judging you. Joey, where do you live? Airport Hills. With who? With my parents and younger sister. But my older brother is in New York at the moment. If you don't mind me asking, have they paid your fees for the SEM? Mommy, why do you need all this info for? You see, me and you have two different lives. I suggest you find someone else Stop talking who will like give that, you mommy. a more secure future. Stop talking like I have got to go, Joey. Please, don't be calling me. I don't have much to give. I just want you to know that ever since I saw you, I've not been able to stop thinking about you. And you've been asking me to be honest. Maybe I can't be bold to say it now, but it's, my heart beats twice as fast when I think about you. You think you're in love? <laughs> exactly what I don't have. I'm sorry, Joey. I don't think I can do this. Goodbye. Joey wasn't the problem. What I was going through was, I was getting closer and closer to justice. That's all that mattered to me now. Just cool, don't panic, darling. I've been trying to get to you, but girl, you keep ignoring me. Why you trying to keep me starving? Why we touching nobody? Like, can we do this often? Wait, shit. Hey, 
Baby, all I do is stalking. I just wanna see you, so I'ma just keep on knocking. Wait, straight, uh, trapping straight from kindergarten. They don't love you, they just wanna hit it, yeah, they capping. What? Tell me you ain't with nobody. Tell me, girl, you single. Yeah, you love my vibes. Yeah, you love my lingo. Ay, pull up to my yard, show you how the thing go. Ay, can I hit you with this motherfucking dingo? Straight up. 